How do everyone and welcome back to Royville in four color one shot. My name is Stefan and without further ado, let's get into the issue. Today I have for you Justice League Dark number 11. There you go. Nice uh, color use there. More Drew with the Ruby of Life appears to be fighting. Zatanna and Wonder Woman. And once again, the Dream Team's back with Tinian, uh, Martinez Buno, Fernandez, and Anderson. So, we start this issue with the ultimatum. In the end of the last issue, Sister Symmetry, still love that name, told everyone on Mira, the magical world, all the magical allied individuals in the DCU, or at least a many of them, uh, you can just become mortal and we'll let you go. Well, they decided to run and they go to the Empire of Kor, which is the home territory, the home world, the home realm, shall we say, of the race of people known as the Homo Magi. So like Homo Sapien, only Homo Magi, they were kind of um, uh, imbued with magic. And they're the ones that actually went around the world and taught magic to other people. Well, they get there and very, very quickly we find out that Naboo and Sister Symmetry have followed them. And with that, we quickly switch to almost an abrupt change. Uh, we quickly switch to Wonder Woman and Diana in the Hall of Justice. I thought it was really interesting that they were in the Hall of Justice. I also thought it was kind of fun that over the loudspeaker, the Flash was talking about how Basically, this museum part's open to the public. You know, Batman will tell you not to touch anything. Ha, ha, ha. And people were kind of walking around as if it was a museum. It was the public areas of the Hall of Justice. Well, Wonder Woman says, do you think Mordru's actually going to be here? This is where he's at. And then Zatanna asks, did they ever sell alcohol in the Hall of Justice? And Wonder Woman was like, no, Superman even wouldn't even let him have that in the lounge. So, yeah, I didn't know Clark was that much of a straight edge. But I guess, you know, if kids are around and stuff, who knows? However, she asked because there's a tavern in the Hall of Justice. Huh. Maybe this is where Mordru's at. So they head into the tavern, and he's sitting there drinking a pint and tells them to sit down. Zatanna says, no, we're not going to sit down. Well, you came to see him, but anyway. No, we're not going to sit down. He's like, yep, bam, and magics them to their chairs. Huh. A little bit of deep water. I don't think uh, Mordru's going to be taking any guff from the Wonder Woman and the Lady of Magic. But we'll see as the issue continues. Let's head back to the Empire of Kor, where there's a little bit of discussion. Jason Blood, the ex-host of Etragon, says, we need to talk about this. We're not going to let you, Khalid, make the decision for everyone. Maybe somebody wants to take up their offer. It's not just your decision. We need to get together on this and figure out what people want to do. Well, with Naboo and Sister Symmetry showing up, they're like, okay, your five minutes is up. What? is your verdict. Are you taking the deal or what? Well, they start to find out as well that a lot of the people from Mira are disintegrating and disappearing. Come to find out, Mira 
the magical realm is now totally destroyed. So all of those people, all of the... See, Blue Devil, who was kind of helping run that realm, was very upset because these are real people to him. But no, they were just figments of the magic, of the magic instruction of the realm. So with the realm gone, the people that resided there are disintegrating and becoming no more. Well, time's up. So, what's the verdict? Are you becoming mortal and leaving the battlefield, basically? Or are you going to fight us? Well, Swamp Thing, Bobo, Khalid, and a few of the others are ready to fight. They take on the Lords of Order, take on Sister Symmetry and Naboo, and really figure it out. Really take it to them. They see that they can't really do that, though. They gotta run. And then Bobo tries to use the Sword of Night. Sadly, nothing happens. It doesn't create a large teleportation circle. Why is that? Well, Khalid tells us that Mira's gone. The Sword of Night, the Night Master, no more. It's just a sword now. Kind of a sad moment for me. I don't know why that hit me so much, but maybe it was the pencils uh, by Martinez because Popo looked really, really upset at this. So as everybody's getting ready to fight because they can't go anywhere, Jason Blood comes up and says, we'll take life. Basically, we surrender. And everyone's looking at him like, what are you doing? doing man well that's where we'll end that scene and actually i don't even think we go back to that scene at all for the rest of the issue so we kind of leave that on a big cliffhanger but we do go back to wonder woman zatanna and mordred as they are discussing what zatara zatanna's father uh, what he got from Mordru. Well, Mordru is obviously not going to tell him right now. He's got a monologue because Mordru's is very, very powerful. And he's got to tell everybody for like, I think, four pages how powerful he is. Wow, dude. Like, get off yourself. We know, okay? However, that being said, they, they hand him the Ruby of Life and he kind of looks at it and... It's like, yeah, they, they created this. It's probably the first artifact. Kind of pissed me off that they created this, but, you know, whatever. Uh, it is what it is, and kind of tosses it back to them, or tosses it onto the table like it's some, you know, easy glass trinket. Well, they discuss how he's done all of these things throughout the eons. He had to do a lot of stuff. He's basically done everything evil that you can do. Like his bucket list is at zero right now for evil stuff. And they talk about the Witching Hour, which was a big crossover with the, the um, magic characters, I guess. I only read one issue, the issue that was in here. So, yeah, I don't really know about that. That kind of fell flat with me. But he basically describes that, you know, I've done all these evil things and they're the Lords of Order. I'm the Lords of Chaos. I'm the only basically Lord of Chaos left. And you know what? You want to know what chaos is? Bam, smacks Wonder Woman. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty chaotic because why would you smack one of the literal most powerful beings in the DCU. Well, one of the most powerful heroes in the DCU. And then they try to protest. Satana says, hey, wait a minute, you can't do that. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I can. So he basically makes her lose her mouth. So she can't cast magic. And it's like crystalline and, and she can't breathe. No nose, no mouth really scary for her and then he also wraps a bunch of magical snakes around diana wonder woman so she can't do anything and then proceeds to smack her a few times and she's getting of course very frustrated and angry as you would well he's trying to make a point 
He's trying to make a point that she's angry. She hates Mordru and he just loves it. He loves that she hates him so much. Why won't you help us? Is basically the two ladies' argument. Magic is going to be gone. If they win, you lose. If the Lords of Order win, the Lords of Chaos lose. You, Mordru, lose. Why would you not want to fight them? Well, because I don't want to. What? To me, okay, you've done everything evil. You know, you're, you're the, the big cheese on evil deeds. I get it. But why? Would you not want to defeat the Lords of Order, who are, you're the most powerful sorcerer. I thought that sorcerer had to deal with magic. It's not you're the most powerful accountant, right? Why would you not want to try to stop the Lords of Order? Well, he doesn't want to. He doesn't care. Okay. Don't get it. However, he does decide that he is going to imbue. Like, I don't want to get my hands dirty. I don't want to do this. I'll give you guys some stuff. I'll give you a toy that you can do it for me. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe he's a little scared, but he's too monologuey and he doesn't want the ladies to know that he's just a little chicken about it. Like, I mean, there's like five Lords of Order. There's one Lord of Chaos saying, come on here. So he decides to imbue a bunch of power into the Ruby of Life. He says that he imbues the power to rip a universe apart. That's pretty cool. Now, I like that. That's neat. And there's a cool scene where he's drawing his magic into the ruby and it will rip the universe apart. Blah, blah, blah. Super powerful. Bad guy. Awesome. Look at me. I'm more group. So, he leaves and he's, you know, hey, okay, I did this for you. Don't ever try to find me again. That was kind of cool. I mean, you know, he is a monologue. He's a little mustache twirler. That was kind of a cool little uh, see you later kind of thing. So, at the end of the issue, the ladies are back in the Hall of Justice. Basically, once Mordru leaves, once he goes uh, through the door, they're just back in the Hall of Justice. Well, what are we going to do? Wonder Woman's like, well, we tried this whole order thing, and it hasn't worked out for us very much. So what the heck? He imbued this ruby of life with a bunch of power. Let's try to be chaos for a little bit. And on the very last page, the splash at the end, as you can see, let me here, let me let me try to summon some magical chaos myself. And let's see if we can see this together. Alright, here we go. Alright, look at that. The Lord, the new Lords of Chaos. Wonder Woman and Zatanna. Great art, great representation. A few things a little weird. Uh, the ruby makes her look like she has a one eye, so she's a cyclops. And I guess being a lord of chaos means that Wonder Woman can't have a shirt on and loses all of her hair. But still, in my opinion, really cool design. Okay, enough of that. Here we go. Just a second. And okay, we're back. All right. So, that was Justice League Dark number 11. I really hope you liked the issue. Did you like my magic ability? Do you think I should use my magic a little bit more? Leave that down in the comments. And please, subscribe. Leave a comment. Like this video. And 
hit the notification so you can see when another one of these one shots drops. And, but the most important thing, everyone, is keep reading. Thanks. Till next time.